Let's assume we are Real Madrid FC and whenever we score a goal, we want to let our fans know as soon as possible by posting an awesome animation. Today I want to show you how Remotion could improve this workflow and how it could actually be used in a company where not everybody is a developer. For this I have dug out an old hackathon project and upgraded it to Remotion 4.0, which means this is now a regular Remotion project which uses the new sort schema feature, which allows us to customize the video via the controls on the right. Here I can select a different player and also maybe customize the minute at which the goal was scored um, and also dynamically enter a score. So let's say the home team is now leading 3 to 0. We could now render out this video and then post it to our Instagram story. But so far, there has been one big problem. In order to start the Remotion Studio, you had to do Git clone, you had to do NPM install. And these are things that a normal social media manager just doesn't do. But now with the latest Remotion update, this flow is now much easier. Here I have created a $10 per month digital ocean droplet. I have SSH'd into it and I have installed Chrome. I have Git cloned my Remotion project, ran npm install and then at the end npm start. Of course, this is something that a developer needs to do. But once this is done, we get a URL that is publicly accessible via internet. And as you can see, the Remotion Studio works exactly the same and we can also render out videos, even though it is rather slow on this slow droplet. And now here comes the new Remotion feature. You can now click on a render output and watch the video right in the browser. And this also means that you can now download the video by right clicking on it and saving it to your computer. And you could send this URL to your social media manager and they would for sure be able to operate this themselves. So that's it, a relatively easy way to start using Remotion in a media company and share it with non-technical people. If you have more ideas and use cases, let me know. Thank you for watching this video.